Welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael, and this is my two year review of the Alpicool 50. So this is a video I made about two years ago when I first picked up the Alpicool 50. I was very pleased with it, and I got it for an exceptionally good price. It was less than $300, much cheaper than I thought I would have to pay. One of the big features for me that it could also refrigerate as well as freeze, and if I was going on a big fishing trip, I could drop it down to minus 16 and actually freeze the fish for the trip home. The controls are pretty basic. There's no Bluetooth control app or anything like that. You just turn it on, set the temperature, and off you go. There's also a little USB outlet, so you can charge your phone as well if you want to keep that on top of the fridge. So the inside of the cooler is pretty cavernous, and as you can see, I've got lots and lots of stuff in there. This thing can swallow up a whole case of beer and still have some room for food, and sodas and a few other things as well. And you can stack it all the way to the top. So that was then and this is now. This is the cooler after two years of use and I've used the heck out of this thing. I often keep it plugged in my garage using the AC power adapter that comes with it just to pre-cool everything before I put it in the back of my Jeep or truck as it was back then. And I can even store food in there for say a good week afterwards sometimes. If I know I'm gonna go out again afterwards, I'll just keep it running. So this thing has seen a lot of use, a lot of compressor hours. The outside of the unit has got a few scrapes and bangs on it, but overall it's furred extremely well, considering how it's been treated by being put in and out of trucks and Jeeps, etc. And the display is a little bit scratched, but overall it's remained very much intact, nothing broken. One of the features I didn't think I'd use was the roller handle and the wheels. I thought that was a bit of a gimmick, but once this thing's loaded up, having the wheels and that handle is exceptionally useful. That's a great way to move this thing back and forth between my vehicle and my garage. And every time I use it, I think what a great design that is. I find that it fits perfectly in the back of a Jeep Wrangler and it's very close to the 12 volt outlet at the back as well. So it's very easy to plug in. My only big criticism of this refrigerator is the overhang where the compressor is over the top. It would be nice if the lid uncovered all the storage area and you didn't have to reach under. This is the refrigerator running, and as you can hear, the compressor is actually very quiet. So I'll just be quiet for a second. And this is on one of my later trips, and I normally keep it around five degrees Celsius to keep drinks and food cold. This piece of film shows how things can get stuck right in the back of the refrigerator, and they're sometimes hard to reach, and it's kind of awkward. So it just would be better if you could reach the whole of it and the compressor was maybe at the bottom of the refrigerator, not at the top. When I'm stopped camping, I normally run the refrigerator from my EcoFlow Delta. This is a thousand watt hour unit and I can normally power the fridge for about three days without worrying about charging it back up again. And I still have power to recharge other devices. When the fridge is running, it pulls about 40 watts I've noticed but obviously it's on and off dependent on what the conditions are outside. So I bought my unit two years ago and I paid under $300. The current price from Princess Auto is $399.99, but they do go on sale from time to time. I'll put up some of the specifications so you can have a look at those. The overall weight is around 35 pounds, so it's not super light, but with those wheels, that makes a big difference. When I was trying to decide whether I needed a refrigerator freezer, I was looking at things like the Dometic 55 type coolers, and in Canada they were at $1,400. So I decided to go with a cheaper option to see whether I needed a refrigerator freezer and how that would work, and I'm actually very happy with the choice I made. I might step up some like a Dometic, however it's, it's done such a great job and I've been so pleased with it that the thoughts of spending $1,400, which is three and a half times the price doesn't really make much sense to me right now. I think I'm just going to run this thing until the wheels fall off, literally, and keep on freezing and refrigerating. It's been a great investment and it's made my camping life so much easier and nicer. So I hope you'd like the two year review. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.